No, nobody's throwing you in jail for refusing the shower, brother. I'm gonna be honest with you. Anti-vaxxers are starting communes in Mexico. I kind of want to see this. That's not happening. Like, that was not Thank happening. I'm sorry, boys. Every time I tell people, I'm going to teach you telekinesis, I get a little scared. Oh, like, I'm dude, blue. I love that. Let's connect with our intention. Why do we want to bend the spoon? Dude, I love, I love girls that have titty tattoos straight up. This person is just immediately... Telekinesis. I get a little scared. Dude, that... Oh, awesome. Great. Scared. She's probably a lot of fun to be around. Like, I am blue. Let's connect with our intention. Why do we want to bend the spoon? I'll tell you why I want to bend the spoon. Because I believe that I am connecting with the quantum field and discovering my abilities to affect matter. This guy has to be the journalist, right? Either the journalist or the fucking CIA guy that's uh, that's infiltrated this anarchist compound. Why not both? Just sticking out like a fucking sore thumb. You know this motherfucker showered this morning, okay? What is he doing there? Water through consciousness. Oh, spoon, I love your love. I love your love. I love your love. Oh, spoon, I love your love. I love your love. I love you. This is an Arcapulco. I fucking call. Oh, come on, dude. Yo, I love. Yo, I love anarchists, dude. I love. I, hey, I, I kiss. I'm kissing all of you with COVID. Okay, all of you anarchists, you get kisses from me. Okay. A week long festival with workshops, happy hours, spirit cleansing, and about 400 libertarians who aren't about to get vaccinated. This was the reason that Biden in a press conference back in July of last year named me as one of the most dangerous people on the planet. I want you to see what happens after you take the vaccine. This is an autopsy of a human brain. This is what people are dying from. These are the clots that are forming. There's no evidence this is true. COVID-19 vaccines are safe. I mean, that's, that's medical, so it's not TOS. Everybody chill. Safe and effective. But being against these vaccines and the mandates is bringing together conspiracy theories from the left and right. 9-11 is a staged yes. false flag psychological operation against the American people and the people of the world. I love Those that. Those buildings were brought down in controlled your demolitions. Truth. That's what I proved Spread yesterday, your but truth, you King. didn't get to see that. King, King. For $1,250 a pop, Festival goers can spend the week learning how to make their vacation location permanent. There are even travel agents to help. Everything we've done has been rescue operations, to be brutally honest. It's been getting people- Bro, I love it. Like, capitalism is- you know, People say capitalism sucks, and then you look at the innovation, okay? They're doing anti-vax, like, tourism destinations, dude. That's awesome. They literally found a captive audience, like- there's no one dumber than these fucking clowns. It's awesome. I always wonder how they have money, though. Like, how are they so fucking stupid and have so much money, so much disposable income? But then I remember it's not a meritocracy. That That is a lie. Are you against vaccines? Hell yeah, brother. I hate vaccines. That's why I have COVID right now, and I'm fucking dying. I hate vaccines. That's why I took both, you know, the first shot, second shot, and a booster, just to see the horrible effects that it would have on me, okay? That's why I'm gay now, autistic and gay. And feminized at the same time. Feminized in every moment of my life. People out of their tyrannical states and governments and countries, getting them to places like Mexico. They're coming here to live in freedom forever. The unvaccinated are moving to Mexico because they're allowed in without proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. That's awesome. Plus, you can live here for up to four years as long as you have $43,000 in the bank. Money does equal power in a lot of situations. This would be one of them. Currently, I run a company in Canada with about 250 cryptocurrency ATMs from Vancouver to Toronto. But why would you leave? Because why would I stay? But if you get the vaccine, then you can do normal stuff. It's not that bad. Cover those titties, you fucking slut. Cover them up, you fucking slut. <laughs> I love that. I love that, that meme of... Uh, of me with my fucking tits out and and one of you guys like drew me 
And then you said, cover your tits, you slut. You know what I'm talking about? Someone in Has Hassan Twit made it. Hassan, I can't keep defending you. That meme didn't start with you? Yeah, I know. I know it didn't start with me, but it was pretty funny. Okay. Let's go. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and get the vaccine. I did. Oh yeah? yeah. yeah. Was it Pfizer? <coughs> I got Pfizer. I got the Pfizer Moderna. I got the vaccine. So you're a mermaid? Yes. In your past life? Yes. Yes. I had a download about that during my meditation experience. So I'm vaccinated, right? And according to Dr. Guitar, I Ooh, get the fuck out of here. You're vaccinated, you're putting your what the fuck, bussy angel? Come on, that's not what that's not what I was looking for. Boo, you're one of them. It's gonna die soon. So what can you do for me? Okay, I can't do anything for you. But what we can do together, we basically vibrate. Vibration is like when you have a very high vibration, anything that doesn't suit you because we are high conscious beings, we can dissolve that your body. You can get dissolve of action out of my body. Yes, we just oh, yeah. have to say you have to accept it. This, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. Cover them up, slut. You basically have to want it. You basically say, yes, I now do that. We are alchemists. So this place is a maze, and it's taken me a few days to figure out where anything is. Someone said, someone just said I'm so glad civilizations gave up organized religion for this. And like, low-key, low key, the Catholic Church is like better than what the fuck's going on here, okay? Not, not. That's not true. I mean, I guess they're all libertarian, so there's like the same level of pedophilia happening. So I guess technically it could be. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're all libertarians. This is a libertarian commune. So same level of pedophilia. This doesn't really look like how I expected an anarchy festival to look. It's a little bougie. So you can get t-shirts. There's stuff about crypto, yeah, NFTs, NFT art show. Yeah, it's like a crypto tent, actually, now that I think about it. There is an open bar that starts at three every day. So there's a raccoon cage, and I have no idea what this is about, but we're gonna go take a look. What are you doing? Are you someone's pet? We all wanna be free. And beekeeping and having a partnership with these wonderful- So there's a guy right now who's explaining what the connection is between beekeeping and anarchism, which frankly, I'm not quite clear on, but yeah, people seem to be following. Yeah, it's because you're not listening. The event because you're vaccinated that's why you don't understand it if you hadn't rotted your brain the the homosexual uh the autism vaccine you would be able to comprehend the things that he's saying is big on networking so a lot of people here aren't even going to the talks they're just like sitting here meeting as many people as possible it's hard to calculate how many people have escaped to mexico but we found Telegram groups where thousands claimed to have made the jump because of COVID restrictions. Corey Edlinger, a Starbucks manager turned crypto trader from Ontario, is in several of these groups. In October 2021, he moved to Mexico with his girlfriend Claire, a professional ballerina. That was just before Canada started enforcing a law that says unvaccinated people can't board flights in commercial airports. Why did you decide to leave Canada? We started to disagree with the way the country was heading. I absolutely refuse to wear a mask while I'm training at that Fuck high yeah. level. It's just, it's absolutely toxic. Where do you think this is all going? Like, what's the global threat? One world government. That's on the World Economic Forum's website. They tell you everything. Like, what do you think it means when they say you'll own nothing and you'll be happy? What do you think it means? I think it means what Karl Marx wrote about. The abolition of private property. Yeah, World Economic Forum loves Karl Marx, famously. Dude, this is what happens when, this is what no theory does to a motherfucker, okay? Yeah, the World Economic Forum, like the supreme neoliberal capitalist institution is for the abolition of private property and is a fan of Karl Marx. Also, why is the abolition of private property a bad thing, dumbass? You own nothing anyway, you fucking idiot. You're literally... A broke anarchist, you dumb fuck. What's it to you? Oh, what, what are they going to abolish, dude? Your Honda Civic? Is that what's going to happen? Huh? What's going to happen to you? You already own nothing. What are they going to do? Are they going to abolish your cryptos? Huh? Your fucking NFTs, dumbass? Shut the fuck up. Pretty. How does that make you feel? I don't want any part of it. <clears throat> so if you disagree with the way something is, how do you fix that? You need to try to create what it is you want. We could have a really great world if we all 
you know, didn't just like follow along like somebody else is telling me to do this, like I'm a lemming and gonna fall off the cliff. And oh, but it's their fault because I followed them. You know, that's, that's giving your power away. New arrivals face practical hurdles. Some work remotely, but tons are living off savings or trying to start crypto and wellness businesses. And others are even trying to live completely free from government services. In my opinion, we have to start with decentralization at the very bottom level with your water, food, electricity, energy, all that stuff. And then we can go up to the higher stuff. Garbage, you can jam pack it into like an aluminum can or into a bottle. And now you have dense mass for construction. You are not relying on the state's extortion. Dude, that's awesome, dude. These guys are so stupid. They're gonna die the first, like at the first sight of like rain, they're just gonna fucking die when their dumbass dinghy collapses in and of itself. Fuck yeah, brother. No zoning regulations. You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah. E -ye. No government to tell me what kind of fucking plaster I need to use in my goddamn house, okay? I will make it out of cans. Who needs water filtration, you know, when the earth provides water for free? Oh, do I have worms growing in my penis now? Well, that's the side effect of such things, but who cares? Fuck you. <laughs> that's awesome. Christian crime racket for waste management. The government and festival goers can- Dude, this is crazy. Like this is literally how motherfuckers in favelas live because they have no other option. And white people move to fucking Mexico to do this on their own volition. I suggest a trade, okay? Take the kids in the favelas and bring them to America and bring these fucking dumbass libertarians to Brazil. How about that? They will pay for it. They are literally ready to pay for it. Can you imagine living like this and paying to live like this? What the fuck? Forget about the tyranny of trash collection when the sun goes down. It feels like an anti-vax Burning Man. So, like just, so Burning Man. So just Burning Man. Okay, got it. She said Burning Man twice. Like Burning Man, a lot of people are gathering at the fringes. We are blind. In the life, we are blind. Some of those organizing outside the festival grounds are intellectual purists. They distrust not just government, but also corporations and big tech. Since 2015, Derek Rose has been helping others, quote, exit the system by creating small anarchist communities called freedom cells. A freedom cell is a decentralized way of organizing in your community focused on skill sharing, knowledge sharing, figuring out how they can grow food together, figuring out how they can educate each other better. If the people involved are all parents, then the Freedom Cell might take a focus on homeschooling, unschooling. If the Freedom Cell is people who are very focused on permaculture, then that might be their focus. A lot of groups, like I'd say- How many people would you estimate are exiting their countries to build a new life in Mexico and also Latin America? If I'm, I might even be underestimating, but I've seen through my own networks of helping people through our caravans, driving people down, what we- Bro, this is literally- Okay, the irony of these guys are that they have, like, the irony of these guys is that they think that they're above the system. And the way that this man is talking is so fucking brain rotted with, like, head talk neoliberalism that he doesn't even realize, like, what he's just advocating for here is the the logical extension or the logical continuation of all of the fucking capitalist dogma that it, that it broke his fucking brain okay yes derek is hot shut the fuck up why are you get what are you gonna do you're gonna go fucking uh live in his hepsi commune is that what you're gonna do huh some of y'all are just simps okay derek has never showered he has never showered in his entire life you're hiring the nsa fbi list and these wannabe anarchos ha 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 first of all my NSA uh, watch list, uh, they are already assets. That's the difference. They already have, you know, feds among them that are looking for ways to activate them. We call the Underground Railroad, helping people come here, and then just people through the Freedom Cell Network, it's definitely somewhere five to 10,000 people, I'd say, that have made Mexico their home in different parts. The word Underground Railroad obviously has a lot of historical context, and there's a lot of language that I think viewers watching might find inappropriate or a bit disrespectful to the original context of those words. I don't know if you well, want to speak to that. When the original conductors in the railroad helped slaves escape, they had to make a decision knowing that it was against the Fugitive Slave Act, that they could go to prison for it. And in that same sense, 
many of us now does this guy think that you go to jail for you think that you go to jail for like being unvaccinated or, <laughs> or something no nobody's throwing you in jail for refusing the shower brother i'm gonna be honest with you he literally thinks like he's like i'm the white harriet tubman <clears throat> now feel like it's up to us, those of us who have the ability, to help other people who feel like they're escaping from situations that are not at, at minimal to freedom. So we started putting out the call. It's through the Freedom Cell Network too. People sign up through there. They get an email that says, hey, there's a caravan coming up soon. If you're interested, you got to fill out this survey. There's a vetting process, but, and then we just help people who want to come down. Do you think this is going to continue? I think this is just the beginning, honestly. But the pandemic restrictions are loosening. For those of us who see that- this That's the funniest part about it is that like, if you're American, like what happened? Just move to Texas, move to Arkansas. You didn't have to go to fucking Mexico and live on the beach. You just wanna like, wanna live every day like you're living in a festival. That's it. That's the only reason why you did that. Like when, when did Arkansas have restrictions? When did Texas have restrictions? Especially outside of like Austin and shit, you know? Move to Missouri. Like why the fuck? You don't need to, you don't need to live in Mexico for this. And then also on top of that, like live anywhere in America now. There are no restrictions. It's all fucking open, baby. What the fuck? This is just the excuse to accelerate the push to what Klaus Schwab, the head of the fourth of the World Economic Forum calls the fourth industrial revolution, which is a push towards AI, social credit scores, facial recognition, blockchain being used in some really scary ways. You know, that vision is why, you know, I'm not going to go home even if things chill out. Some unvaccinated expats have already started their own communes. We found several eco-villages or off-grid communities across Central America, most in early stages of development. Booster of the booster of the booster, like fucking three fucking boosters of bullshit. Okay, everyone, uh, I'm very happy to meet you all. My name is Gabriel Villarreal. And I'm going to give a little introduction about myself and what we are doing today and the vision of our project. Guillermo Villarreal. Who am I to judge? I mean, I'm, I'm vaccinated, but I got COVID. These guys, well, these guys probably had COVID too, like multiple times and somehow survived it. Kind of like all these motherfuckers that survived the top of the hour ad break without subscribing. You know what I mean? And I can't... Here's the woman ad break now. Real and his brother Gabriel are ex-reality TV stars. They've been doomsday preppers for years and started a village in the jungle of the Yucatan in southern Mexico. Since the pandemic, it's mainly drawing unvaccinated Canadians and Europeans. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome, my friends. What about the pandemic restrictions have made people interested in living in an off-grid eco-village? Now people realized that they need to come to an off-the-grid community. Now it's a necessity. It's not a luxury. It's not a, oh, some people got together in the middle of the jungle. No. Now, now they feel that they need it. Because here we are free. Here we do whatever we feel like doing. We, we respect each other. Do you think that the pandemic restrictions have made people more afraid of potential disasters, like either natural disasters or, uh, you know, government-induced disasters or the fear of them? The pandemic has just heightened that, like pushed it to a different level because it's actually, this has been going on for years and years, like for decades. It's basically the, it's basically the, the manipulation of, of, of population through control of fear. Do you feel like you're a refuge of sorts for anti-vaxxers? DJ Kento, yeah, thank yeah. you for the thank you for the for subs. Sure. <clears throat> I mean, not that's not like our main goal, but definitely there. I mean, people here are very, very welcome. We accept everyone. A hundred percent. This is a non-vax haven for everyone who wants to join us. The brothers bring potential buyers to tour the community of about 214 lots. Each lot starts at $20,000 plus the cost of building a house. About 20% of them have sold. People have asked me, Gabo, so I like AC. Can I have AC? I said, yes. You can have all the comforts you want. You can have internet, you can have cable TV, uh, you're gonna have a nice kitchen. So it's like living in the city, but in the jungle. Okay, so we're gonna walk to the phase two, okay? So where the, the lots are available, okay? All of the conveniences of modern society without any of its laws sounds like a utopia. But when all conspiracies are given equal credence, some dark ideas can appear. What brings you here today, Joanne? We have a, a big bunch of demons that are um, trying to control our lives, 
Uh, so let's see what's going on because we might have to head to the hills. I am worried about the graphene oxide in the injections and I'm worried about the, um, the vaccines, uh, COVID vaccine. Dude, they're so smart. These people, man, how the fuck do they come up with all these crazy things? It's wild to, it's wild to see like these people get so deeply invested in the lore. Like they're watching one piece or some shit. They read the fucking manga. They didn't just watch the anime. They read the motherfucking manga of COVID, okay? They just, like, came up with all these... They came up with all these, like, different fucking reasons. I'm like, how are you so invested in this? They're like, I read uh, the... I read the original work of art, actually, that this manga was based off of in the 18th century. Vaccines? <coughs> well, they're not vaccines, so I will not call them that. They're injections. They're injections of graphene oxide. When you add graphene oxide into the body... And you're hooking I'm over here thinking like how is this gonna tie back to the Jews, okay? Back to the cloud. This is craziness. It's just hard for me because so much of what you're saying, like I've They've gone for far too long. They've gone for far too long without mentioning Jewish people. It, like it's gotta happen. Never heard point. of before and it goes against like a lot of the things that I've been Wait, told are true. You have been lied to for so much. And then you can kind of get into something else which I accidentally stumbled upon, which was were there gas chambers in Nazi Germany? And ah! did six million people die in Nazi Germany? Yes. Ah! Well, that's a great answer. But ah! it's not even an answer. Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! Woo! Woo! Oh! Yo! <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, Obabe down, Obabe down, hold up, hold up, I want to fix it real quick, god damn, bro, come on, dude, I know my fucking hogs, I live for this, <laughs> oh, that's awesome, that's awesome, that's fucking dope. That's wow. Okay. People watching have lost relatives in the Holocaust. They know people died. So what you are saying feels like an attack on them personally. No, you're putting words in my mouth and words in their mouth. What does this have to do with lies? Off grid living. Lies. So maybe people can't see the lie in what's going on with COVID 19, but there are many books and many, many experts took apart the gas chamber story 101 different ways. What do the Woo! rest of you guys think of this? That's right, baby. That's right. You fucking, you know it. Fucking know it, dude. You know it. You know it. You know it. Oh, that was awesome. That was. <laughs> oh, dude, come on. We watched a fucking 14 minute video, a 14 minute video. And for 12 minutes, they didn't talk about Jews. You know, it's coming there. It had to. This would not have been a full anti-vaxxer video otherwise, okay? All right, let's continue. There's always going to be a difference of opinions with, between people. This is normal human trait. So we, we should not um, judge people based on what they say or they don't say. Not Joanne is welcome here. Any, I, I everybody's want... well, absolutely. All of these alternative communities are brought together by one thing. They're against the COVID-19 vaccines and mandates. But once you distrust all official narratives, you can end up in an alternate universe where down is up, history is rewritten, and objective reality no longer exists. Call it what you want. It's not a conspiracy conference. This is reality. Everybody here should be streaming from the mountain. All right, is this it? You're hooking. I'm over here thinking like, how is this gonna tie back to the Jews? Okay. Back to the cloud. This is craziness. It's just hard for me because so much of what you're saying, like I've- They've gone for far too long. They've gone for far too long without mentioning Jewish people. It, like it's gotta happen. Never heard point. of before. And it goes against like a lot of the things that I've been Wait, told are true. You have been lied to for so much. And then you can kind of get into something else, which I accidentally stumbled upon, which was, were there gas chambers in Nazi Germany? And ah! did six million people die in Nazi Germany? Yes. Ah! Well, that's a great answer. Ah! Oh! Yes! Yes! Dude, I know my hogs, dude. I know my hogs too well. I know my fucking hogs too well. And top everything they believe in because it's reality. 
<sighs> oh, God. I am literally the fucking hog whisperer, dude. That's one of those where it's like, well, if we were on LSF, that clip would have popped the fuck off. You know what I mean? Our man alleged but we're not, so we can't. Need to hit Vegas. That, is, that was on fire. Any more symptoms develop? I missed a bit because of my grandma's birthday. No. I'm feeling pretty good. Veritasium. Do you regret getting yourself banned? No. Especially because I just realized, as some chatters pointed this out as well, that clip would have immediately gotten fucking uh, ethered because they would say it's too political. Any clip that shows me in a good light, they would literally fucking, they would just clap up. When you say you'd be the perfect conservative grifter, you're right, that was insane. Oh, 100%. I, that's why I always laugh when people are like, you're such a socialist grifter, you're such a socialist grifter, you're grifting for socialism. It's like, dude, it's so much easier to be a conservative grifter. Shut the fuck up.